Okay, using Microsoft Teams um, as your phone system. Pretty, pretty cool. Look, this uh, assumes that you're familiar with Microsoft Teams and the chat, setting up Teams, uh, meetings, etc. Uh, and this quick video just looks at uh, using it as your phone system. So we can see here we've got speed dials. Um, it's the setting that we're looking at at the moment. And I'm just showing my delegates. Uh, I could be showing uh, the people that we work with at Microsoft. I uh, could go and choose to just leave on uh, the vendors that we deal with. And the pretty cool thing is that um, you know, you've got the real-time presence of the people that you're dealing with outside of your organization, so your vendors, etc. Um, so you can see they're way um, busy. You don't waste time trying to call them. So that's your uh, speed dial uh, view. Uh, you've then got uh, contacts and you can bring someone across um, and add them to your speed dial without an issue. So this is, keeps all the telephone numbers um, and the speed dials um, is where you keep all your native um, settings for people, email addresses, uh, etc. Uh, we then go on to history. It's obviously showing all the history, voicemail, calls in, calls out, etc. So um, you know, you see an incoming call from myself here just briefly. Um, I can go and choose to call myself back. I answer that phone call, I just mute it, uh, and here we can see we've got all the features that we need, holding, uh, transfer, etc. So your transfer key obviously brings up all the people that are in your, um, you know, your buddy lists. Uh, you can go and uh, search for people, and um, you can go and type in, you know, any kind of telephone number that you want. It's going to bring it up. You can transfer. So all the features that you really want from a from a phone system uh, are there. Hold, answer, conference, transfer, and park. And you can also belong to um, call groups. And we can see there that um, I've been added um, to a call group. Um, I can go and edit my notifications uh, of that call group, what to do, etc. cetera. Um, change my uh, settings, call forwarding, calls ring me at, no one else, uh, my mobile number, uh, etc. cetera. Voicemail, you know, get your calls to ring at a call group. Very, very flexible from that perspective. And, you know, here's change your voicemail greeting. Dials onto the system. Um, so, cool. And then, obviously, we've got voicemail. So, the really cool thing I like about voicemail on Microsoft Teams is the transcription. Uh, this was an English guy that left me a message. Um, so, we can forgive it not being completely accurate. Um, and we can change the speed that it's uh, played back. So that's a cool uh, part of the whole equation. Um, here's the telephone number that I'm obviously sending. There's my direct uh, direct line. Put a call into that. Let's have a look. Ding, ding. Okay, excuse the speed at which I dial. It's a Monday. Um, all right, should be coming in. There we go. Bring, bring, bring. Decline the call sensitive voicemail. Answering it. Uh, and there we go. Picks up the headset I'm using. Great plug for Sennheiser. Um, hold transfer. And you, as I said, you can turn on park at the back end if you really wanted to. Um, so there we have that. What other cool stuff can I show you? Um, Hmm. Obviously, you can use your keypad, right? Dial, you know, dial from here, triple zero. Won't push our luck on that. Um, or you can, uh, you know, choose to dial from your uh, the actual keypad. So use your mouse, keypad, uh, what have you. Or if it was a touch control, touchpad, touch uh, screen, you could go for, you know, go for gold uh, on that. So what else to show you? Um, Nothing much, obviously, on the Microsoft side. You need a minimum of an E1 and the phone system SKU. Um, and then CTI can take take care of the rest. Um, so, yeah, if you want to know more, um, please get in touch.